In this tutorial, I'm going to run over three of the biggest advantages that an online business has over traditional brick and mortar companies. There is a reason that people are flocking to online businesses, given the freedom and convenience they can provide to those who are successful. Advantage number one cost. The first advantage is obvious. The fact that your business does not require a physical location is a massive benefit. With an online business, you just need to pay a fee for hosting and site development. On top of this, you don't have to apply for planning permission or pay a million dollars to erect a building. This project would take years to complete and could potentially require a serious loan application, which can be very stressful for the applicant. With an online business, you can get started nearly straight away. The upfront costs of starting a physical business are huge compared to an online one. Additionally, the operational costs of running a physical outlet are far higher, typically involving employees, insurance, higher utility bills, and licenses. Advantage number two, unlimited scalability. Online businesses offer unlimited scalability. With a traditional brick and mortar company, if you want to expand, you might need to get a loan and rent out new premises. This involves a lot of hassle and it is a big move with significant risk involved. On the other hand, online businesses can scale far more easily. The website capacity can be extended to cater for more users and they can carry out experiments on a smaller scale without breaking the bank. Because many online businesses offer digital products, it is possible to replicate these with little additional cost, meaning that scale is easier to achieve. Advantage number three, convenience. Online sites are open 24-7. Regardless of whether the customer is in Australia or the USA, they always have access to your online storefront. The same cannot be said of a physical outlet, which may stay open 9 to 5. The online site can be accessed anywhere at any time. Online sites can also make easy use of digital nomads for a global workforce. This is not the case with typical retail outlets who can only access local talents. Three reasons why you should start a YouTube channel. In this presentation, I'm going to explain why a YouTube channel is essential for any online enterprise. Video has a number of advantages and YouTube is one of the most popular and well-known platforms out there. Not having a YouTube channel is a big mistake given all the advantages that it offers. Number one, people love video content. All of the latest research is demonstrating that people prefer video as opposed to written content. Video content is more likely to be clicked on, delivers more in a shorter time frame, has better ROI, and results in a more engaged customer. A short two-minute video can say a lot more than a thousand-word blog post. There is also a growing trend that customers are going to favor video more. According to Cisco, 82% of online content will be in the form of video by 2021. Setting up a YouTube channel now could be a great way to jump on this expanding trend. More than text is now necessary to reach your target audience. Number two, the biggest video platform. Nearly every business now has a Facebook page, given there are so many users on that social media site. But YouTube is like the Facebook of video, as the biggest video streaming platform in the world. In short, it is the quickest way to reach the biggest audience. There are over 1.5 billion active YouTube users. Many of the top influencer marketers can be found on YouTube. They have a large say in determining the spending habits of newer generations who tend to favor video content. Not only is YouTube the biggest video platform, but it is also one of the best with new additions and innovations. Owned by Google, it is unlikely to go out of business. Number three, viral potential. Video content has a much better chance at going viral compared to written content. In fact, written content rarely goes viral. Viral content can greatly increase revenue if executed correctly. Videos picked up on YouTube are easily syndicated across other social media platforms, such as Facebook and Twitter. This is the best form of marketing, where others are voluntarily doing the work for you. While many business owners seem to have an aversion to video content, it is actually very easy to do, even with a basic setup. In this presentation, I'm going to highlight five top online business models to make use of immediately. The market has never been better for those who wish to take advantage of online enterprises and build the life of their dreams. There are a wide variety of online business models that can help to secure a high quality of life and long-term financial success. Incorporate one or a combination of these five models to create the life you want to have. Blogging. Blogging is one of the oldest online techniques and it works. It takes a while for blogging to generate significant returns, but it can be extremely profitable when it finally starts to turn a profit. 
identify as a subject matter expert, and blog about your passion every day. The good work will pay off, and you can monetize the blog through affiliate links and paid advertising. YouTube YouTube is a great way to reach an audience who resonate better with video compared to text. Video content also delivers a better return on investment compared to written content. Setting up a YouTube account is very easy to do, and this technique is underutilized by many business owners. Amazon FBA Through the Amazon FBA, fulfilled by Amazon service, business owners ship their physical products to Amazon and sell them through the platform. Amazon takes care of delivery, storage, and customer support. While this is an excellent model, Amazon does take a significant cut of the profits. There are other ways of selling physical products online, such as dropshipping or using third-party logistics companies. Online Courses It is possible to turn a massive profit by selling online courses through sites like Udemy. You can also sell such courses directly on your website. If you are skilled and talented, selling an online course might deliver a faster turnaround compared to blogging or building a following on YouTube. Freelancing you can acquire business through marketing acumen and then complete the services by hiring high-quality freelancers. This can be an entire business model in itself. Alternatively, you can make use of freelancers to complete projects for your own business. This can be far more cost-effective than hiring permanent employees. Upwork is the biggest freelance site in the world with a large number of skilled freelancers available. In this tutorial, we are going to look at five of the best ways to promote your online business. While there are many marketing methods, you will have to select your model carefully and make it work for you. Every online business needs an efficient marketing campaign to promote their brand. Use Facebook Ads Facebook Ads is a very effective way to promote your business. The vast majority of business owners now have a social media page, and there are paid advertising options available within platforms such as Facebook, including voice ads and sponsored stories. The power of social media can no longer be ignored. There are billions of active users on social networking sites such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It is free to set up a page and reach out to an enormous global audience. Quora Quora is a popular question and answer site. Users ask questions and then other users respond with their answers. The most popular answers typically get the highest number of upvotes. Quora is a fantastic platform to promote your business and you can answer questions in relation to your field of work. Google Ads Google Paid Advertising is a great way to get traffic to your site. The way it works is that advertisers bid on keywords with a maximum amount they are willing to pay for each click. Customers come to your site by clicking on the sponsored advertisement and then purchase the product. By understanding your conversion rate, you can set your maximum bid per keyword. Collaborations Collaborations are when you join forces with other businesses. You can cross-promote each other's products and services, which will ensure mutual growth. For example, you could trade links on each other's blogs for an increase in traffic. This can be a quick way to increase traffic to your site, and there are a number of ways to collaborate. However, options are limited in social industries, as you don't want to promote your competitors. Meet face-to-face -face. Meeting face-to-face -face with people is still a great way to promote your business. Networking is still crucial to business success. This can be done at any time or place. Be sure to tell people about what you offer and have a business card on hand. Face-to-face -face meetups are the best form of marketing, though the audience is not as vast compared to online methods. 7 Tips to Create an Online Business Around Your Lifestyle In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to build your business around your lifestyle and not the other way around. Online businesses are possibly the only ones that really guarantee a fulfilling and flexible lifestyle compared to other business types. Number 1. Have the End in Mind when creating your online business for maximum fulfillment, it is ideal to constantly visualize the end goal, whether it is an IPO or working four hours a week for the rest of your life. It is all too easy to get lost in the daily minutiae, but there are ways around this. Don't accept anything less than complete and utter freedom and focus on it as often as you can. Number two, outsource. You won't be able to get where you need to go without using the power of intelligent outsourcing. Outsourcing can make your business run so much more smoothly if you let it. Entire projects can be 100% outsourced to cheaper regions with the help of reputable agencies. Number 3. Use freelancers. Every task you can think of can be completed with short-term freelance contracts. Freelancers are based in different time zones, so they can work on your project while you sleep in bed or relax on a beach. They are very important in helping you reach success. There is a growing mobile freelance workforce. 
for all kinds of projects from web development to digital marketing. Number four, automation. Automation is like outsourcing in that it is often a cheap way to get tasks and projects completed. And there is an automation tool for nearly everything. Accounting, social media, email marketing, PPC campaign, payroll, taxation, etc. For true freedom, automation tools are necessary. Number five, delegate. While you are going to make heavy use of automation tools and outsourcing, it is important to have a few key personnel to rely on. Trust that others have the ability to run the business. Learning to delegate is an important skill that all new online owners need to learn. Number six, choose your business model carefully. Some models are easier to run and more profitable than others. You want a business that is automated for success, where you are not tied down all the time. Timeless business models around the concepts of health, wealth, and love will always have a high retail value. Number seven, focus on what really matters. Small business owners do not have the time to manage every little detail of the company. They need to be very precise about what the business does and what the key metrics are. If you want to focus on every aspect of the company, then you won't have any time for yourself. Common pitfalls to avoid when starting an online business. In this tutorial, we are going to have a look at how to avoid some of the common pitfalls most new entrepreneurs run into when starting off. All too often, knowing what not to do can be as important as knowing what to do. Avoid some of these common traps to make sure your business gets off on the right start. Not setting goals. If you don't know where you're going, you won't get there. Goals help to keep people focused and on point. Make sure that your goals are smart and achievable. Break them up into mini tasks that you can complete daily. The goals can be big and far into the future, but they must be broken down into smaller components so that you can work at them on a daily, monthly, and weekly basis. Not embracing marketing. Sales and marketing are how traffic gets directed to your online business. Businesses do not exist without a good marketing strategy. Marketing methods can take many forms, such as social media, blogging, paid advertising campaigns, content marketing, YouTube marketing, email marketing, and more. There is a wide selection to choose from. The important thing is to launch a marketing strategy, track what works, and stick with it. Failing to budget. Many new online businesses do not budget properly. They can often either overspend or underspend, depending on the circumstances. An appropriate amount of money needs to be spent on the many different elements of the business. Marketing, sales, site maintenance, employees, automation, outsourcing, product testing, etc. Blowing the whole budget on one area is a frequent mistake. Being unrealistic. While starting an online business is the best route to financial freedom, it is not a golden ticket to success. Like all new enterprises, the odds are stacked against you. You are going to have to work hard and sacrifice a lot in order to make your dreams a reality. Obstacles will arise, and you will have to deal with them. But it will make the success all the sweeter when you finally make it to the other side. Doing it all alone you need partners when starting a business. Studies have shown that solo founders have a more difficult time than groups or partners. Even without a founding partner, it is important to connect with digital marketing agencies, financial specialists, development teams, and so forth to enhance your business. You need to leverage the power of others to make it through. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to construct an entrepreneurial mindset for building your online business. A strong psychology is the primary component of success across all industries, so you need to put it first and foremost. Get clear about what you want. You need to have a personal statement and a company ethos that reflects the values of what you and your business is about. You will have clearly defined goals and expectations that will make your interactions with customers, employees, and business partners far easier. It is not possible to get what you want unless you are crystal clear about your goals and expectations. Vague demands will result in vague responses. Write it down and review it regularly. Have an open mind. The best entrepreneurs are not uncompromising, except about the fact that they will succeed at all costs. They are all capitalistic and innovative. If an opportunity comes along that will further their financial goals, then they will jump on it. As your business grows, you cannot cling to outdated thinking that is not relevant. If you refuse the things that can help your business develop, then your progress is going to be very slow. Be aggressive. Entrepreneurs are not timid or shy. They know what they want and they go for it. So you should find out what other people can deliver for you and don't be shy about getting the best deal. In the corporate world, timid people get walked all over. There is a reason that the best investors and poker players are called sharks. They don't bite all the time, but when they do, it's fatal. Learn to rely on others. 
You also need to let others do the brunt of the work by making use of freelancers, virtual assistants, and automation tools. These will free up your time so you can focus on the really important decisions. Entrepreneurs understand that they can't do it alone. They align with people who have a similar vision and passion. Trying to do everything by yourself is a quick route to ruin, and your energy levels will quickly burn out. How to outsource jobs online so you can free your time and grow your business. If you happen to have read The 4-Hour Workweek or similar titles from Tim Ferriss, you know it is possible to leverage the power of other people in order to work as little as possible. One of the benefits of owning an online business is that you don't actually need to hire long-term employees. You can outsource practically every job to a freelancer, which has multiple advantages. The Virtual Assistant The first thing to understand is that all low-skilled jobs can be outsourced. Data entry, basic English content creation, text translation, and other simple tasks can be done by a freelancer for an incredibly low rate. The best way to do this is to look for a virtual assistant who can perform these very basic functions for you. They will be available on freelance sites such as Upwork or Freelancer for as little as $3 to $5 an hour. Email management, content scheduling, basic entry, link building, and other jobs can be easily performed. Skilled Freelancers Skilled freelancers are also available on the same sites, and you can find virtual assistants. They cost a little more, but you can again make use of regional cost differences to secure a bargain. For example, there are large numbers of skilled Indian, Chinese, and Russian developers who are quite proficient at web development for a reasonable price. Comparable developers in the West are nowhere near as affordable. You can analyze the score and get the past reviews of each virtual assistant or freelancer in order to decide whether or not you want to hire. If they don't deliver, you can always get a new one. Outsourcing Agencies For large and complex projects, there are agencies who can perform the entire job for a fraction of the cost. For software development, it has become quite common to outsource the entire project due to a shortage of skills in the industry. Hiring a full-time developer can be very costly. Brickwork India, for example, can handle large-scale projects such as admin, knowledge, and technical services. These include office support, management support, sales support, accounting software, SEO, PPC, reputation management, CRM solutions, web development, mobile application development, business research, and procurement consulting. Other large-scale outsourcing solutions are available for a cheap price, freeing up your time to focus on what truly matters. Whether you need a virtual assistant, a skilled freelancer, or an entire project, there are multiple options. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can build a blog based on your unique passion. Building a blog is not as easy as it once was, but it is definitely a path to success if you work at it. Get ready to work. The thing about blogs is that they take time to really take off. There are no real black hat tricks or techniques that you can use to generate an engaged and passionate audience that really likes what you have to say. You simply need to blog every single day. At the bare minimum, it will be a year before the blog earns a significant income, quite possibly even two. You need drive, enthusiasm, and to be really committed to the long term in order for this to work. It takes a while for other blogs to link to you and for Google to give your blog the respect it deserves. On the other hand, blogs can be a great way to earn an affiliate income once you generate enough traffic on the site. Make sure you have a passion. Starting a blog based on your passion means that you must really like and understand the topic at hand. You must love the topic so much that you are a subject matter expert and are prepared to analyze and write about it every day. It does not really matter what it is, just that you are passionate about it. The wonderful thing about blogging is that you don't actually need a content plan for the next year. You just need to be able to write a 1,000 word blog post every day on the topic and it will all fit together. If you have extreme passion, this should not be a problem. Engage with and understand your audiences. Audiences love interaction, especially if it's personalized. Respond to all comments and offer free ebooks and other gifts to your audience. This will build a loyal following who will tell others about your products and services. Consider surveys and questionnaires to gather feedback. It can also be a good idea to keep up to date with monetization and marketing trends. This will enable you to engage more effectively with your audience and optimize your site. In this presentation, I'm going to demonstrate how you can stay motivated while you create your business enterprise. A lack of motivation is something that all new business owners run into sooner or later. But there are established ways of dealing with it. Relax and de-stress. 
If you are finding it harder than you thought or the business is taking longer than expected to grow, then you might need to relax and come back to work with a different mindset. Business owners are not robots and cannot work all the time, even if some appear to do so. In fact, many successful business owners highlight the importance of regular rest and relaxation in order to be at their best. There is no need to burn yourself out. Just work consistently with appropriate levels of rest. You will get there in the end. Change and innovate. According to a study undertaken by the Startup Genome, businesses that change their business model once or twice have a far greater success rate compared to businesses that stick to the same one. Enterprises like Facebook, Amazon, and Google are changing all the time. These businesses are actually built on innovation. If the enterprise has expanded and you are sick of doing the same thing over and over, change the formula. Not only will it result in you getting a mental and emotional refreshment, but it could also potentially deliver a positive ROI. There is no shortage of new digital marketing techniques to experiment with. Brainstorm with your team or partners on how to expand and change. Back to basics. Remember why you started the business in the first place. Take stock of how far you've come and all you have put into the business. You could only be a few short years away from having the life of your dreams. It is always good to write out a personal mission statement outlining your goals. This should reaffirm to you why you started out in the beginning. If these goals are no longer relevant, you can change them.